2001 Lexus LS430. Issue with this one is, is though, mirrors don't move out. The windows don't roll up or down besides the driver's window. Um, the key fob don't work for the unlock and lock, a bunch of stuff. Long story short, I ripped a bunch of these panels out to get to this module, which is this, the gateway module. So, if you look here on the ultra, I got the topology pulled up. These modules in gray are not talking. But every module on the buses, uh, bean bus and sill bus, you guys see what those are, they all go through the central gateway. Or they call it a gateway module. Well, if you look, all these gateway modules have driver door, ECU communication, passenger door, door system right, rear, left, rear, theft deterrent, steering lock, front passenger, all the stuff, right? So those are all the modules in gray that are not talking. Well, this schematic I pulled up is the gateway module, gateway ECU, which is this blue guy right there. Everybody has to go through the gateway, you know, to talk, right? And that's how we're talking to it, is through that. Now, the same modules, there's these pins here, 15 and four, which if on the back of the connector, we're gonna hook up an oscilloscope to it and see what kind of activity we have. They go through these joint connectors here, but long story short, all these modules on here, like this front passenger door ECU, rear door ECU, rear door right hand ECU, rear left hand seat ECU, driver's door, transponder, Transponder, theft, turn ECU, seat ECU, rain sensor, overhead sensor. I mean, there's all kinds, right? Like this is your driver's door module, immobilizer, rain and humidity sensor, which we saw in there, theft deterrent, straight rear seat, driver's seat, all the same issues. So what my thinking is, is we're going to go right to this connector here and scope this out with the oscilloscope and go from there. Alrighty, so <clears throat> I got the gateway module out of here and back probed. I was using Phil's probe for a little bit, but it's easier just to get the thing out of here. So anyways, there's, where all these modules are not communicating, they'll go back to the gateway module, pin 15. And four and they're uh, a pink with a blue on both of them well if you look I'm probed in there so right now I'm on the red ones pin four so I'm on this one and look it's just 12 volts the whole time turn it off goes to zero turn it on key on engine off 12 volts start it goes to alternator voltage 12 volts, let me move it to the other pin, which is pin 15. Let's so move it to the other pin, pin 15. Same thing, 12 volts, stuck high. Then it goes to alternator voltage. Turn it off, it goes to zero. Key on engine off. So it looks like, I gotta see how this system works, what they call bean. And I looked up what they call BEAN is Body Electronics Area Network. Body Electronics Area Network is BEAN. That's what they call that. And that's what this is, is body control modules. But it's like our BEAN is shorted to voltage. I got to see what the protocol is and what it's supposed to look like on a scope. But I imagine it needs to stay, you know, I would think it's going to be a square wave and change state. And it's not. Now, if it's short in the voltage, obviously there's an issue right there. So we got to get in there and find out more. So I could, you know, I could put two channels on here to scope this, but right now there's no reason because they're both shorted to, well, we think they're both shorted to battery positive. And let's see here. You can see. It says network gateway on top. 
Network Gateway. Don't worry about that ABS on the bottom. I think it's the type of plastic this is made out of. But it says Network Gateway, and below that says Toyota Denso. And you can see a part number there and all that stuff. So, well, I'm going to have to get a part number. So let's look at that again right there. Anyways, so I don't think we should have 12 volts there the whole time. We got to look up how the system works. But again, all these modules are lost. Come, let's hook up the scan tool one more time. All right, so I scanned it again, same issues. But if you look in the bottom, it says Bean. That is Body Electronic Area Network, which is all the blue stuff. It says it is anyways when I looked it up. Which if you look, it even goes to the right side. It goes to all the BCMs. And the left side where we're not having talk. Where I have no talking. Um, looks like the, and then the other one is the sill. I'm not sure what that is. I'd have to look it up. I don't know. It's that's. I would imagine that's its fast CAN bus or something. You know, high speed CAN. Because the sill and the bean goes, both go to the engine along with the airbag and stuff. So they're all talking. Except the ones on the left there. Like we... Uh, said we just don't have you know communication between those and it looks like i gotta look up being how it's supposed to work i would imagine it's a square wave it looks like a one wire going in and a one wire coming out but i gotta look up the protocol see how it's supposed to work troubleshoot that that way and or uh you know maybe isolate the wires in that module so you get restore calm back i just got to get a plan forward so this will probably be part one of this video until I get some more research on, but uh, more to come. All right, one more thing here. I'm scanning and I'm scoping at the same time with the split screen to see if I get any movement. I get little not little movements on there, but nothing going to ground. Three or zeros and one. So sorry about my finger in the video there, but uh, yeah, I'm just watching the scan to see if it pings, you know, pinging the modules basically and. I got no movement on these bus lines where they're I guess it's a multiplex system is what they call it you know so the bean in the sill body electronic area network and whatever sill is so yeah nothing's talking on that bus it's and it would make sense if it's shorted to battery voltage uh, you know then um, it would cause that you know but like I said I want to see what it's supposed to be and move forward what we could do is like you know you could unplug each module or go to a joint connector and see uh what we can find out as far as you know unplug this joint connector here or here or here to isolate if it is shorted but so more to come on this video however it is weird that the ones on the left there are on the bean bus but they have communication. If that whole bus is down, you think it would take other stuff down. Unless this topology in the hotel is incorrect. I have to, and I have schematics here we talked about for the beam side. And then this is the, I guess the sill side, the engine computer and stuff. This is your power grounds, comm, pin three there to the central gateway module. Alrighty, one more thing. So I'm on a single can channel. I'm using the uh, Auto Ultra again to read this single can. I'm just doing single can here. And I'm on pin three. So that's what the schematic shows. Which is... My phone don't die. Well, wait a minute. It shows... Data link connector three. Yeah, pin three. On the sill. Wherever that is. So sill there. So sill up there too. Hmm. But I don't think you're gonna see a waveform until you get past that CAN bus. Which is right there. You gotta get past that, or not that can bus, the gateway module. Um, also, I don't know if in this video I've kept, I don't know if I've been calling this thing a Mercedes. Hopefully I haven't, because it is a Lexus. Um, 
LS430. Hopefully I wasn't saying Mercedes. I mean, working on Mercedes earlier. I don't know if I said that in the video. If I did, it, this is a Lexus, not a Mercedes. There's the waveform there, but it's, of course you're not going to see much because you are got to get past this, the gateway module just like on a Chrysler. So, again, we got to see if this thing's shorted to battery voltage and why it's shorted to battery voltage and go from there. I wanted to show one more thing here before we go. Before I go. Uh, I was on pin 3, I said, now I'm on pin 7. Just to show you, pin 7 on the breakout on the Ultra VCMI is you know, battery voltage, right? So... I'm not sure that's going to help us anyways, but what I'm looking at when I'm scoping the back, like I saw earlier in the video, we have 12 volts on both wires and they're not going to ground. So we got to, it acts like it's a short to voltage. So we need to take a look at that and go from there.